When you get this auto injector from the pharmacy, there will be two auto injectors in the box. If you need a training auto injector, you will have to order one from the manufacturer. Each auto injector will be in its own carrying case. Do not carry the trainer around with you. You may grab it by mistake during the allergic emergency. The training auto injector is beige and contains no medication, and that is what I will be using today. The auto injector that you will want to use during the allergic emergency will be either yellow or orange, depending on which strength your doctor has prescribed for you. To start, get your auto injector and sit down if you can. You can also inject standing up. It is okay to inject directly on the skin, but if you cannot access your skin, you can give the injection through your clothes. Do whatever seems best in the situation. Remove the auto injector from its tube-like case, like I already have. Place the auto injector in the palm of your hand and wrap your hand around the auto injector like a fist. Do not put your fingers or thumb or hand on either end of the auto injector. Pull off both end caps. Your end caps will be blue. This one and this one. Make sure to point the red end downward. The red end contains the needle. Place the red end of the auto injector against the middle part of your outer part of your thigh. Push the auto injector firmly onto your skin. You want to hold it tightly and firmly in place for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The injection is now complete and you can remove the auto injector. You will still be able to see the needle. Be careful. Massage the injection area for 10 seconds and call 911. You'll want to carefully cover up the needle using your carrying case. Place the needle end into the carrying case and then put the cap on. That way you'll protect yourself from being pierced with the needle.